Forget 10 minute grocery and food deliveries. We're not looking at phones that can charge from 0 to 100 in 9 minutes. Yes, in 2022, we are already seeing commercial rollout of 150 watt phones that can charge from you know, 0 to 100 in 15 minutes. And Oppo has already showcased a 240 watt charging technology at MWC, which can supposedly charge your phone from 0 to 100 in 9 minutes. I think we've really reached peak charging speeds now. I don't know where people are rushing off to. Anyway, this got us thinking, what if we did an ultimate real world battery battery charging tech of all the charging tech available right now on Android phones. Mostly for fun. Well, my name is Aishad, you're watching Tracking Tech English and this is, of course, that ultimate real world battery charging test of 2022. You've never seen anything like this before on YouTube. You know, our team picked out so many phones for this test that we actually had to do it in two batches. The first batch includes six phones with varying charging speeds from as low as 18 watts to as high as 33 watts. Now, these phones include the Realme 9 5G, the Moto G51, the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G, the Realme 9 5G Speed Edition, and uh, you know the Poco M4 Pro and the Redmi Note 11S. Now, for the process, we put all the phones in airplane mode, cleared out all the apps from the background, removed any battery optimizations that were there and set the brightness to maximum. Then we drained the batteries completely and charged to 100%. Now for this test, I've not gotten into the granular details because then it would become a 20 minute video, but the results themselves are not very surprising. The battery sizes of all these phones, interestingly, are all at 5000 mAh, creating a level playing field. The Redmi Note 11S and the Poco M4 Pro charged from 0 to 100 in 1 hour 11 minutes and 1 hour 15 minutes respectively. And the 30 watt charging technology managed to charge the Realme 9 5G Speed Edition from 0 to 100 in 1 hour and 24 minutes. The next phone is the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G and that should ideally not be on this list because that phone costs rupees 35,000 and you know most of the phones in this list are under rupees 35,000. But you guys know Samsung and Apple, these guys are absolutely obstinate about charging speeds and don't go beyond 25 watts. In fact, Samsung does go to 45 watts but that also doesn't charge as fast as 25 watts. Anyway, that 25 watt charger managed to charge the Samsung Galaxy A53s from a 0 to 100 in 1 hour and 44 minutes. Please note I'm interrupting the proceedings because the timer that we used actually reset itself at 99 minutes and 59 seconds, making life really difficult for us. So don't really get confused at what you see on your screen. We'll give you the final numbers. Now, if you're wondering how long it takes to charge a phone with 5000 image battery and you know, a 20 watt charger, well, the Moto G51 took two hours and 31 minutes. That's your ballpark range. Now, if you think that's too long, wait for it. No one, I repeat, no one should be subjected to the torture of 18 watt charging speeds. I'm saying use 18 watt charging speeds on hardened criminals to make them confess their crime. The Realme 9 5G took three hours and 11 minutes to charge from zero to 100. That's longer than it takes for you to watch two full length Hollywood movies. But it will take you more than two seconds to actually hit that red subscribe button and maybe even hit that comment uh, you know, section below so that the YouTube algorithm can push this video to more people and so that you guys can motivate us to put in more effort on videos like these. Because it's a lot of effort. Moving on to the next more exciting batch of phones. We have seven phones in this list with the fastest charging technology in the world. The fight is between the OnePlus 9 RT with Warp Charge 65T technology, the iQOO 9 SE with 66 watt flash charge technology, the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus with 67 watt MMT technology, the Moto H30 Pro with 68 watt turbo charging power, the Oppo Find X5 Pro with 80 watt super woke technology, the iQOO 9 Pro with 120 watt flash charge, and the Xiaomi 11T Pro with 120 watt hypercharge. And these marketing terms. Now the battery sizes of these phones range from 4,500 mAh to up to 5,000 mAh. Now the process was slightly tweaked for this part of the test. We obviously put uh, you know the phones in airplane mode, cleared all the apps from the background, removed all the optimizations, and switched on the always-on display. I know that Xiaomi states that you have to keep the Mi 11 T Pro with screen switched off for it to achieve that 17 minute charging time that they claim, but this is a real world test and all the parameters have been matched. And in any case, we wouldn't be able to tell the battery life at different levels uh, if we didn't keep the, you know, always on display on. At the five minute mark, the iQOO 9 Pro had started racing ahead. It had already reached 32% charge and the Xiaomi 11 T Pro only managed 
12% charge, which also comes with a 120 watt charger. In fact, the Oppo Find X5 Pro was actually ahead of it at 13% charge and the Moto H30 Pro didn't even switch on. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. 10 minutes in and the iQ9 Pro is like Usain Bolt on crack. It has already reached 59%. Okay, you know what? Let's play a fun game. Take a wild guess and comment below what you think will be the you know final charge time at 100% for the iQ9 Pro. Anyway, at the 10 minute mark, thankfully, the 11T Pro finally managed to overtake the Oppo Find X5 Pro. The OnePlus 9RT and iQ9 SE reached 27% and 23% respectively. The Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus reached 16% and the Moto H30 Pro reached only 9%. It was really lagging behind. I don't know what turbo power charging Motorola is talking about. 15 minutes later, the iQ9 Pro is running in some parallel universe and it's already touched 82% charging levels. Thankfully, the 11T Pro picked up pace and managed to widen the gap between it and the, you know, Oppo Find X5 Pro. Okay. But what's more interesting is that the OnePlus 9RT 65 watt warp charging technology is just 3% behind the SuperWook technology used by the Oppo Find X5 Pro. And finally, Moto has reached a respectable number of 22% as opposed to 26% achieved by the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus and the iQ9 SC. And as we reach the final leg, the iQ9 Pro is the first phone that reaches 100% charge in 90 15 minutes and 56 seconds. I want to give a standing ovation to IQ for actually living up to the marketing claims. And the 11T Pro with its 120 watt fast charging tech came in second. It managed to reach 100% in 27 minutes and 20 seconds, which is way off the 17 minute number as uh, you know proposed by Xiaomi in their marketing claim. Obviously it's dependent on a lot of parameters and your charging speed mileage could vary. But even DxO Mark got 30 minutes, uh, you know, to full charge from zero to 100. But here's a shocker of the entire test. The OnePlus 9 RT managed to charge from zero to 100 faster than the Oppo Find X5 Pro, 65 watt, charging faster than 80 watt. But yes, the caveat here is that the OnePlus 9 RT has a 4,500 mAh battery as opposed to the 5,000 mAh battery inside the Oppo Find X5 Pro. And there's also a reason why this happens. The OnePlus 9 RT actually traps all the heat within the charger itself and doesn't transfer it to the phone. Basically, the charger definitely gets hotter than the other chargers used in this test. The iQ9 SC with its 66 watt charging tech took uh, 50 minutes and three seconds, and the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus managed to achieve, you know, 100% charging in 54 minutes and 24 seconds. And finally, the Moto H30 Pro took more than an hour to charge from zero to 100, and that's very slow for a 68 watt charging technology. But I must add that in our temperature findings, the Moto H30 Pro was the one that actually gained the least amount of heat. Since this is the very first first video that we've made at such a scale, there is, I know, still a lot of room for improvement. But I'm sure this gives us a clear idea of the different kind of charging tech, fast charging tech used by different brands. Boy, but it took a lot of effort. We got it wrong twice and I had to rerun it again. You know, there were electricity cuts as well. And we missed an office cricket match for this video. So hitting that red subscribe button is something that is your duty. <laughs> anyway, now I'm off to devise a plan to find out if fast charging tech is actually degrading battery life as opposed to slow charging tech. So Jay, the idea for our next video is ready. Don't worry, Sujay will get it done. Until next time, keep tracking and stay safe.